At Atlanta News First is investigating a controversial aquarium and petting zoo in DeKalb County. Yeah, Sequest at the mall at Stonecrest opened a little over a year ago, even though the property was not zoned to house indoor animal exhibits. The city's planner is trying to change zoning language to bring the aquarium into compliance, but some community members say that sets a dangerous precedent. Here's what happened when Atlanta News First investigator Rachel Polanski went directly to the city's mayor for some answers. In the German. Excuse me, Mayor. A routine city council meeting in Stonecrest took a turn when Atlanta News First Investigates began questioning the mayor. She's a staff member here, yes, ma'am, and absolutely. Um, I will look into um, what you have mentioned uh, uh, in your comment you here, and I definitely will address. You to step back. She didn't tell me to step no, back. I'm telling you to step back. But now. even though the mayor never asked us to step away and tried to continue answering our questions. We were ordered to leave. I'm telling you to step away. So how did we get here? Let's rewind to March of 2021, when Stonecrest former mayor, Jason Larry, who is now in federal prison for stealing pandemic relief funds, sent this letter to Sequest, saying in part, we believe the operation of a Sequest attraction at our premier mall at Stonecrest is a permitted use. By June of 2021, Sequest announced that it would be opening its 10th location at the mall at Stonecrest. And by November, the aquarium and petting zoo opened its doors. The only problem, the mall was not in a zoning district that allowed indoor animal exhibits. Fast forward to February 2022, records show a Sequest worker emailing Stonecrest City planner Kedra Jackson, asking if Sequest could buy more animals, including a mini cow, mini donkey, and or alpaca. A few days later, Jackson replies, Per our code, your property is zoned C1 and does not allow for keeping of livestock, adding the concerns we have is safety, health concerns, and the specific types of animals that will be present. After some pushback from Sequest, the tone of the conversation changes. And in March 2022, Jackson writes, we are now looking at an ordinance to put in place, adding the ordinance will be tailored to benefit your establishment. So staff's recommendation is an approval. That's Jackson presenting the amendment to the Stonecrest City Council at their last meeting. It's also feces on the floor on the public area and quite a bit of it. Which was quickly met with opposition from some community members. Sequest needs to go. I think that's very scandalous, to be honest. It sets a dangerous precedent when the city will rewrite a zoning language to cater to a particular type of business. It's good one. After a short discussion, the council votes unanimously to defer or postpone the measure. Aye. Still, Atlanta News First Investigates had questions, which we first brought to city planner Kedra Jackson. Do you typically rewrite zoning language to benefit businesses? I have no comment at this time. And then, when we did not receive a response, to the mayor. Ma'am, I'm Jasmine Cobble and the mayor of the city of Stonecrest. I'm not Kedra Jackson. She's a staff member here, yes ma'am, and absolutely, um, I will look into um, what you have mentioned uh, uh, in your comment here, and I definitely will address it. And you already saw how that ended. Step back now. And four days after that meeting, the mayor of Stonecrest sent us a statement saying that the city has now brought in an independent consultant to review the proposed zoning amendment. Meanwhile, I have reached out to Sequest multiple times, and I have yet to receive a response. Reporting live in Stonecrest, Rachel Plansky, Atlanta News First.